I think this one was my favorite restaurant of this trip, for sure. You know, I you live here. Of your trip, fuck. <laughs> okay. Hey, this is Amir. This is Diana. And you're watching Vegan Twosome. Welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time here and you're interested in vegan food and vegan food reviews, you're in the right place. Sit back, relax, grab yourself some vegan chicken skews and enjoy this episode. We have my little brother here as a guest, Mo the Baller. Say hi, Mo the Baller. How's it going, guys? Okay, we're doing good. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we got a great one today again, don't we? Absolutely. Tell the good folks where we're at. Today we had dinner at Olac. It is a 100% vegan Vietnamese restaurant. Where is the location? It's located in downtown LA. And I think it's right across from that Disney hall. Well, let's talk about the interior. It was pretty big. They had high tops. They had tables. I think they had booths in the back. And if you go into the back section of the restaurant, they have like private areas, I assume, for larger parties. Maybe you can book it off if you're having a special event. And now the most important part of the show, the food. For the appetizer, we got the egg rolls. And I knew we were going to order that because Amir loves spring rolls. So we each got to order a dish, and I ordered the garlic noodles. I got the chicken satay and rice. And I got the calamari. Boom! Let's get into it. I also want to quickly mention that Mo the Baller is not vegan or vegetarian, so it would be very interesting to see what he thought of all the vegan dishes we have. Should we start with the spring roll? Yeah. I don't really care for spring rolls. I could take it or leave it. Amir's the one who loves it, so that's why we always get it. These are kind of like Chinese style spring rolls. They came with a dipping sauce that I didn't use. So, I mean, they're okay. There weren't anything special from any other spring roll I had. So, so so. What do you think? I thought they were typical spring rolls as well. Nothing, nothing too special. It came with some lettuce as well. So you could wrap it around the lettuce and dip it in the sauce. I like the sauce, so I use the sauce. What do you think? Yeah, I thought it was a pretty standard, good spring roll. I actually didn't wrap it in lettuce, but I dipped it in the sauce, which was a must for me personally. <laughs> um, it's crazy not to, right? Yeah, I don't even, I, yeah. That's an interesting take. Like but... What kind of a person would? Well, <laughs> I wrapped it in lettuce. Which was a good move, for sure. For sure. But you didn't do it. No. So, so it's about In that. hindsight, it was a good move. One, two, three. I'll give it a four. You give it a four. You give it a three. Okay, you got a high five. All right, let's get into the dishes. Should we start with yours? The garlic noodles? Yeah. I love garlic. When I saw garlic noodles, I was like, okay, that's what I have to order. I love garlic, I love noodles, that combination is perfect. And I really, really enjoyed it. It had little bits of sausage. I think it was maybe field roast. Did I care about the sausage? Not really, I could have taken it or left it. It didn't really make a difference for me for the dish, but I really liked the noodles. I love the noodles as well. And unlike Diana, I think the sausage was a very key point. Without it, I felt ripped off because noodles are cheap. And you know, you could go and just get noodles anywhere or make noodles at home, you know. Could but you have made those noodles at home? With my eyes closed. Are you kidding As me? As if. Do you know how good Okay, I you're going to make those noodles for me. I am probably one of the best chefs ever lived. I thought they were really good. And just like you, I thought, you know, the, the sausage was essential to that, to that dish. It was great without the sausage as well, I guess, but the sausage I, I thought was the game changer for sure. I go the jet. <laughs> They're the best. Also, who do you think is better looking? Mo or I? Let us know in the comments. If you say Mo, I'll just give you this. One, One two, two, three. three. Four. 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 Five. Give it a five. Yeah. yeah. Let's talk about my dish. I got the chicken satay with rice. And I thought it was really good. I loved it. I thought it was full of flavors, very tasty. The rice went really well with it. The sauce was really good. What do you think? 
At first, I was surprised by how big the portion was. I thought we would each only get one skewer, but I think we each got two skewers. The chicken was, I think, a soy protein, and the sauce was really good. I think it needed to be with rice because it was quite a salty dish, but with the rice, it went really well together. And I'm gonna add the part about the shrimp chip. Do you have anything to say about the shrimp chip? I couldn't care less for it, honestly. It felt like I was eating paper. <laughs> I miss shrimp chips. It's something I used to have before I was vegetarian. I was the one who ate pretty much all of the shrimp chips, so I really enjoyed that part as well. You actually said it was good? Tasty. Yeah, because like I've never had a vegan version and it's been like, I don't know, very, very, very long since I've had a shrimp chip. The chicken satay itself was just so good. Like it was unbelievably good, honestly. And it paired so well with the rice, but the sauce and just like, it was just so good on its own as well. The shrimp chips, couldn't care less. <laughs> it was whatever, but I mean, yeah. I didn't even know that it was edible, honestly. I thought it was just decoration. <laughs> One, One, two, two three. Boom. Five on, oh, you're no, the four you're this four. time. But you were just raving about how good the shrimp chips were. I like just the cheap. shrimp chips. That wasn't the main part, I guess, so. <laughs> yeah. So I ordered the calamari, which was made out of mushrooms, and I thought it was really, really good. It was nice and like crispy and and like thick, and like it was just good. It was just really, really good, honestly. And the sauce was amazing. This was my favorite dish of the night. I loved the mushrooms, and they were seasoned so well. They were kind of like deep fried mushrooms, and then they had garlic and peppers. So I really, really liked it. It came with a side of red rice, and the dipping sauce I actually didn't use that much either because I thought the flavor of the mushrooms was excellent already. Really, really good dish. I'd really recommend it. I thought it was really good as well. Was that red rice? I thought it was brown rice. It was red rice. I thought the rice went really well with the mushrooms. The sauce, normally I'd be against you, Diana, but I think this time you're right. The sauce didn't really add much to it. I don't think the sauce was that great. But the dish overall was really good. I enjoyed it. One, two, three. Anyways, that's what we think. You guys go try it out yourself. And as always, make sure to let us know what you think in the comments. So Diana, for the baller, would you ever go back to this spot and dine again? I would so go back because I love Vietnamese food. They have a lot more dishes on the menu. You know if you've been watching that I love pho and I didn't order pho today. So if I were to go back, I'd order the pho. We're not from LA and there is a lot of great options here. So would I go back again voluntarily? <laughs> no, probably not because there are other places I'd rather go try because there are a lot of places that didn't even make it this time on the list. So. But if I'm with a group of people and they say, oh, let's go try, let's, let's go there, I, I wouldn't make a fuss about it. I would go for sure. The food was really good. What about you, bro? Would you go back? 100%. 100%. It was so good. It was really good. And I'm not even, like, I'm not a vegan, so, like, I think I'm saying a lot, honestly. It was great. It was great. Oh, what happened? All the lights went off. They just turned it off. If you enjoyed this episode and you like the kind of videos we do, Wait. go ahead. Oh God. We're just literally filming the last five seconds of a video, then we'll leave. We're leaving in 10 seconds. Thanks man, give, give us 10 seconds. Whoa! <laughs> oh. <laughs> the setting changed now because we got kicked out of the park. Park's closed in LA after him. Did you know that? No. Did you know that? Yeah, you did. I did, I did know that. The butthole security guard came and was like, hey, you gotta go, hey, And we're like, dude, can you give us 10 seconds? You're almost done. And he's like, no, hey. Anyways, if you enjoyed this episode and you like the kind of videos we do, go ahead, press that subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. And ring that bell so you don't miss any videos. Take a look at this video on Mo's face. It's another episode that we're doing in LA. 
Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.